Hey everyone, we haven't done a Tuesday stream in a long time. Because we're not going to lie, it's been pretty mid the past couple of weeks, right? But this week, we actually get something really cool, which is actually the new PRs that we see on the screen right here. These are for V Premium and Premium. So, I don't know, people have been saying this means V is still alive for the next year. I don't know, we'll have to let Boucher decide, even though they can say a promo is for V Premium and... Uh, premium it doesn't mean like you know they're gonna still support view premium in the competitive circuit uh, but yeah that's that's up for them to decide but what is interesting is that these are the new what well, we assume to be the new promos for the premium formats starting next year and these are kind of like similar to the kind of the the ride checkers or s whatever you want to call them uh, that was released this year for each clan where everyone got something that would uh, be able to be played uh, pre-grade 2 to search their deck for a, a grade 2 or lower card, right? Just be, just during the ride phase. So that added some, I guess, some new unique mechanics because it allowed, like, it combined a strong offense card with kind of like a stability card for the early game. Well, these new ones add some pretty much needed defense for premium and the premium formats. So let's kind of look at what they do. So these are for... Uh, uh, the, the first two are for Nubatama and Aquaforce, right? Uh, the, the left card is the Nubatama one. So they all have this new effect now, which is a con effect in the hand. You may discard this card as a heal for the cost of calling a G Guardian. So basically, if you run four of these, you have four extra cards uh, to run to use to discard for G Guardians, which makes you able to, you know, just get that, basically have something for G Guardians uh, more more effectively in like all your games pretty much or you can just choose not to run heals and run these uh, and then you still have the ability to access g guardians um if you want to be a crazy nut job and run 16 crit uh but then has this second effect as well so the nubatama one is auto uh, when this unit is put on the guardian circle from hand remove a heal from hand or drop and this unit gets shield plus 10k until the end of that battle for every two cards in your opponent's hand if your opponent's hand has four or less cards uh, you counterblast one, and then choose one of your vanguards, and it gets power 5,000 until the end of turn. Uh, While well, the Aquaforce one has this effect, which is uh, auto when this unit is placed on the Guardian Circle from hands, uh, cost remove a heal from hand or drop, and perform one of the following according to which battle this turn it is. And if it's the first battle, you can uh, pay the cost of counterblast one, choose one of your vanguards, and until the end of the turn, it gets this effect in red text, which is cont, all of your regards cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effects and at power plus 5,000. And then if it's the second or third battle, uh, this unit gets shield plus 20k until the end of that battle. So these are kind of very, very interesting effects. So first off, I, I did mention before, these are also power 5,000 by the way, so very weak in terms of like, you know, if you're just going to boost with it, it, it kind of it's like just barely as strong as a trigger. A vanilla trigger um and also grade one but with 10k shield right so pretty much v standard uh power lines but I mean, yeah these these effects so the first effect i mentioned before is just like you know add stability so every time um basically every game you'll basically see like x amount of g guardians right uh, before you had four heals in the deck so you wouldn't really be able to access you, you will you could access all your heal uh, g guardians but at the same time, um, you know, you'd have to see your heals, which doesn't... If you're not a clan like Grand Blue, then it's very hard to access, like, the full amount of your G-Guardians. Uh, especially if you had to use them in the early game to use as heal guards, right? But now, basically, every game, if you run, like, four copies of these... I don't think you would, actually. I actually don't think you would. Um, but these will still be very, very strong cards. You will just have, like, more access to G-Guards, which means you probably, like... In, in most of your games, you'll probably be able to see all of the G-Guards that you... Uh, well, all four, right? That you want to... That just adds to your defensive power. Right? But but this more interesting also effect is the second part of this. Because this the second, like, unique defensive power is, like, very, very strong, right? Those are kind of equivalent to a G-Guard, right? That doesn't need to be uh, used. You know, you, you can you just use them after you use all your G-Guardians, for example. Uh, but it just adds like an extra defensive power boost, not only in the late game, but in the early game when you couldn't even access your G-Guardians. So I, I can say that they're probably, the second effects are comparable to what a G-Guard does, 
right? If you look at that uh, Aqua Force effect, you know, the first one adds like power uh, to your Vanguard, which is similar to um, some of the, what the, I think like the new one does, like the, one of the new Aqua Force G Guardians that got released in Prem Cole, right? You know, you can CB1 and plus 5k. Also, giving full resist is similar to the Unflipper. Then, like, what, the second and third, second and third, like, battle kind of thing, plus 20k, that's a 30k shield, right? That bumps your Vanguard to, like, 43 uh, defensive power, which is extremely, extremely strong, right? So, if, for example, again, you use all your G-Guards, you don't have any G-Guards left, you still have these cards to add to your defensive values, which is incredibly good. Also, something like, uh, you know, Ichikishima just gets screwed over by this. <laughs> I mean, I... Power creep, right? Power creep. But even though, like, if you read the Numatama power as well, right, that is very similar to what one of the G guards do, but now slapped on a one a grade one body, that doesn't require you to use a G guard for it. So again, uh, you do need to remove a heal in your hand or drop. But again, use all your heal guards first, or G guard everything first, or in a clutch situation like heal guard, and then like use this effect uh, to you know. Just buff your power, and I guess like more games. As long as you see this is this is like the extra. These are the extra G Guardians that aren't G Guardians in your hand that bec can become G Guardians, basically. So you, know, you can go to the full value and go like max shield, like four X of this, four X heals, right? Or you know, if you even if you just like what run one or two of this, uh, you already add a lot of defensive power into your deck from just like the p one card, right? So this is, I think this is very very good. This is very very good for not just the game. Uh, but for V as well, because, you know, you can't access G-Guards in V, so the first effect is essentially redundant. But being able to access, like, what, a fifth and sixth uh, powerful defensive mechanic uh, in for, for, like, V, when everyone's complaining about, you know, going first is too strong, uh, your opponent just dies and they don't have a way to, like, live. I mean, like, a fifth and sixth kind of heal in your deck might just solve that issue. All right, so very, very good mechanic, I think. I would love to see how, uh, you know, this pans out. Hopefully we still get a prem premium collection next year as well. We didn't get one this year. We got a history collection, a bit different, but I kind of want to see something fresh and new, right? But these will all be a nice addition to, I think, the PRs that we're getting. Uh, I think everyone can agree that the PRs we got this year were very, very good, right? And these look to be pretty good too, right? Uh, next, let's just kind of go through other cards that got revealed during the stream. So, uh, we have, I think it was like a Ruan as well. So, this guy's pretty cool. Uh, just kind of a new ride line. Uh, the second card we got is this, uh, this grade one for Ruan. So, his effect is hardworking bonds. Uh, Luhan? I think it's called Luhan now. All right. Uh, when this unit is rode upon by a grade two unit with Luhan in its card name, Soul Boss 1, look at the top five cards of your deck, choose up to one Soul Rinsing Spring of Dragons in, or a grade two or less unit card without Sentinel from among them. I reveal it and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. So, okay, pretty straightforward. Uh, this is the Soul Rinsing Spring of Dragons. Uh, play this with cost counter boss one if you have a Vanguard with Luhan in its card name. Uh, you know, choose up to two normal units from your drop, choose a card with grade or less or equal to your Vanguard from among them, call it to the regard circle and put the rest on the bottom of the deck in any order. That called unit gets a power of plus 5,000 until the end turn. So CB1 and call a card, also get to put back your important units back into the deck, uh, which will come in handy later on. But this, other, this is a grade one as well. This lets you kind of uh, call a card out and just bash, right? Or you can probably try lane pretty early and not feel too bad. Uh, because then you have your grade two here, guard running through the earth, Luhan. So when this unit is run upon by a grade three unit with Luhan, it's kind of named. Choose on your vanguards and this is the end of turn. Reduce the cost of that unit's original auto ability by counter blast one. So this basically will mean that no matter what your opponent does, uh, if they try to damage deny you, it doesn't matter because you, you'll be able to use your effect anyway. Uh, and then, you know, so again, that means playing like the order early, using a CB early doesn't really affect you. You just play everything out and bash your face, uh, bash their face, don't bash your, bash your own face. And then the level grade three is Soul Awakening Guard Luhan. So this is grade three. Act Vanguard Circle once per turn, cost Soul Boss one. Such a deck for up to one grade two card with Maris in its card name and calls of the Regard Circle and shuffle your deck. So Maris is the, uh, like a grade two, like horse. Uh, so, again, pretty nice, you know, you can pull it out, use it to bash, and then we can see what happens. Auto, Vanguard Circle, at the end of uh, battle, this unit attacked Candle Blast 1 and put a Grade 2 Regard with Maris in its card name into your soul. 
Search your deck for or hand for up to one grade three or greater card with Lu Hand Maris in this card name. Write it as stand until the end of the turn. Put the cards revealed for the drive check of the battle that the unit attacked on the bottom of the deck instead of the hand. If you search the deck, shuffle the deck. So basically, you put in the, the Luhan Maris that you get for free. Basically, you Soul Blast one, call it out, right? Search your deck, call it out. Then you use this on the second effect, you suck it in. Uh, and then you re ride into this Luan Maris, which is a grade three. And then you just bash again. So four attacks. Unfortunately, the uh, the Luhan Maris drive checks don't go to your hand, but uh, getting a second Vanguard attack without any restriction, right? This actually has zero restrictions, which makes it a bit scary, right? Uh, it's it, it's pretty pretty like your opponent just can't do anything about it, right? Like it doesn't matter if they're on grade three or not, it doesn't care, it just does it, right? It just does it. So I can just see the whole point of the deck is you rush pretty hard, call it all down, uh, call everything down as soon as possible, trialing your opponent, uh, and then just kind of go off as soon as possible. Because late game, you will just not be able to have any sustain in your hand, um, and it just feels not great later on, right? But early on, good times, good times. Uh, then we have the thing, Maris here. So this one is when this unit attacks, if you have a grade 3 or greater Vanguard with Luhan in its card name, this unit gets plus 5,000 to the end of that battle. So this has no restrictions at all, right? It just gets plus 5k. Uh, and then second effect is auto when this unit is put into soul from regard circle by the ability of your vanguard with Luhan in its card name. If you persona road this turn, choose one of your vanguards and it gets drive plus one into the end of the turn. So this is the only kind of uh, gr kind of restriction for Luhan, right? This requires you to have persona road. So this means it's grade four. Uh, this will just give your Luhan um, an extra plus one uh, drive. Uh, which doesn't really matter because when you're uh, when you ride the Luhan Maris, like sure, it's like extra pressure in a way, but it doesn't really add to your hand. It does give you a second attack, like triple drive, so you might hit like like an extra front or a crit, which is cool, uh, but doesn't really add to your hand, right? So again, you still have to pressure very very hard with the uh, with the card. And then lastly, we have the well, Soul Awakening Dragon Horse Luhan Maris. Uh, and then this is Con Auto uh, Vanguard Circle. During your turn, if you Soul has Soul Awakening Guard Lu Hand, this unit gets plus, plus 10k. Plus 10k. Uh, so again, no restrictions. You your first grade three turn ride when they're on grade two. Bam, 23k bash. And the second effect is Vanguard Circle. At the end of your turn, choose a Soul Awakening Guard Lu Hand from your soul and ride it as rest. So it will just ride back to the uh, grade three, like Luard, right? <laughs> like Luard, you can't do any premium shenanigans when you ride down with this. Uh, because you just don't ride if you don't have the Luhan in your soul. Uh, now, we will reveal the most uh, nicest looking card in the entire uh, support line, and that is a Benediction Sage, right? This is, uh, I think, basically, if you're going to run Luhan, this is why everyone is going to run Luhan, because uh, ooh, looks pretty good. Uh, effect is, Con Regal Circle, if this unit is boosting a unit with Luhan or Maris in its card name, this unit gets POW plus 5k, so 13k boost. And then auto regard circle when this unit boosts your vanguard choose up to one normal unit with luhan or maris in its card name from your drop and put it on the bottom of your deck if you choose a card at candle blast one and draw a card so again no restrictions uh you just again none of these have restrictions right immediately when you boost the luhan or maris 13k booster put on the side right it's you know it's hitting likely uh 28 Right, the Maris is 15 on attack, and this will be 28. That's a pretty good number. That's a pretty crazy number. And also, uh, yeah, if you're boosting Vanga, you get to draw. So yeah, pretty, pretty, not really like super broken, but you at least have a function. Right, this deck has a function, uh, which uh, might be it's just kind of hard to say for like the uh, the triple drive dragon that we got, the Forge guy uh, for Dragon Empire. It uh. I don't know what function that is. <laughs> but anyway, pretty cool stuff, uh, especially for V. Uh, I really like it. This looks really, this seems pretty, pretty cool. I mean, let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you like the new kind of PRs that I pretty much, we assume are gonna come out for next year, right? Every, we have 12 months. Uh, we have 24 clans. Every clan we get two of these PRs. What do you think, right? Uh, is Kagru gonna get a denial griffin stuck on one of these cards? <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you all next time. All right. Bye.